Merry Stressmas! <laughs> Isn't it a wonderful time of year? You know, one of the things that I think brings out the concept of stress more than anything else is Christmas lights. Especially when you're hanging off the eave of the house, upside down like a bat, trying to put the things up. And when I used to be the one who put the Christmas lights up, I would always be very, very careful, and I would string the strings out, and I would plug them in, and I would replace any bulbs that were burnt, and I would then climb up onto the roof, and I always thought about a neighbor of ours when we lived back in Ottawa, outside Ottawa, out in the country. My wife and I had a little hobby farm in those days, about five miles of dirt road from pavement. <laughs> and that particular area was, well, let's just put it that if Canada had hillbillies, they'd be where, that would be where they were living. <laughs> and we had a neighbor and luckily, we also had, we had one neighbor who was a screenwriter, and you may recognize where he got the inspiration for a part of uh, uh, National Lampoon's Christmas, because we had a neighbor who climbed up on his roof to put his Christmas lights up, and he was scared, like all men are, we just don't normally admit it, hanging off the eaves, so he tied a rope around himself and tied it to his pickup truck. And his wife came out and turned him into Lonnie the human box kite. <laughs> and you'll find a scene similar to that in National Lampoon's Holiday Vacation. <laughs> but I, I was always terrified doing that, but I would always, you know, I always had these lights, they were just you know, perfect on the ground. And I would get them up and I would plug them in and there would always be a whole bunch that didn't come back on. And I would explain to my sons that it says Merry Christmas in Morris Code. <laughs> and they would turn to their mother, the career girl guide, because they knew she understood Morris Code and she said, no, that's not what it says, boys. It says your father has a few bulbs loose upstairs. <laughs> Thirty-six years I've been married to this woman. <laughs> she always says I embellish when I'm talking about her. I don't. One of the other great stresses of the season is Christmas shopping. Is there anyone here who has not done any Christmas shopping? Yes, I see you, dear. <laughs> I haven't either. Uh, it, I think it should still be July. But Christmas shopping, for me, is especially stressful after my uh, additional appendages came into my life. I was walking through Coquitlam. Co <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wrong drink. <laughs> I was cocking through Wokwitlam Center. <laughs> uh, and you know where they put Santa Claus down on the main floor underneath that opening through the second floor? Well, I was up on the second floor walking along, trying to be very careful because these things have a mind of their own if they get water under them or, you know, you should see me on ice. It's, it's, uh, it's quite a ballet. Yeah. And uh, so I was walking along and all of a sudden I realized I wasn't being held up on the left-hand side anymore. And my crutch I watched shoot down the aisle about 15 feet. And a woman who was completely into the Christmas spirit, she had Christmas tree earrings and she had a Santa Claus button on her coat with a flashing red nose, turned around and said to me, why the don't you watch where you're going? <laughs> Merry Christmas to you too. You know, all, I'm still leaning over the railing, looking down at Santa Claus, thinking, you know, that five-year-old's picture is going to be very interesting with me coming down from the top of it. And 
You know, another time I was in a, in a store and a woman slammed into one of my crutches with her grocery cart and she said, you know, I wouldn't have hit that thing if you didn't have it outside you. I said, well, ma'am, if I put them between my legs, I tend to fall over. And if I don't bring them all at all, I tend to fall over. But, but we... We have this shop till we drop mentality at, at Christmas time, and uh, and I'm really good at dropping. Uh, I, I'm particularly good at falling. I I have a perfect record. I haven't missed the ground once. Um, I think during the '60s I may have missed the ground a couple times, but that was something else altogether. <laughs> but but particularly stressful. And I, you know, I think all the men in the audience will agree with me. The most stress that we face is trying to shop for our wives. Because we say to them, what would you like for Christmas? <laughs> and they give you this, oh, I don't know. Which means, you know, let's translate it. You bloody well better know <laughs> what I want for Christmas. But Diane has always been one who would say, oh, I don't know, I don't know. So it surprised the heck out of me the other, a couple years ago, when she, I said, you know, is there anything in particular you'd like for Christmas? And I was continued reading, because I knew she'd say, oh, I don't know. And she said, I want one of those things that tells me where to go when I'm driving. I said, well, I'll gladly tell you where to go when, when you're driving. Um, 